Hi guys, my name is Katherine Patterson. I'm your naturalist here at Reed Bingham State Park. Let's talk about gopher tortoises. Did you know the gopher tortoise is actually a keystone species? That means they can house up to 350 different species in just one burrow. This is anything from eastern diamondback rattlesnakes to burrowing owls to gopher frogs. So there's a few things we want to look at when trying to identify whether or not a burrow is actually active. So the first thing we want to do is never stick your hand down in a burrow. Obviously, there's a lot of different things that might be down in here. So the first thing we're going to look at and identify is uh, whether or not this ground coming out of the opening is smooth. So this soil uh, is generally very rich because it's moved around a lot as the tortoise travels back and forth. And what we want to look at next is this area right here. This is called the apron. So this is actually um, the excavated soil from where the burrow has been dug. So this is actually where the tortoise will lay its eggs um, and they have anywhere from 6 to 14 per batch. So the interesting thing about this is that whether or not the weather is changing, this will continue to build up as the tortoise travels in and out. So um, you can always tell whether or not this is fresh and it stays in a dome-like structure. Um, if it begins to fall flat, sort of like the ground here behind it, that's how you know it's an inactive burrow. So here at Reed Bingham, we take great pride in our pine restoration management area. So we do everything we can here to help our gopher tortoises. And tortoise management and forestry practices are very successfully integrated here at Reed Bingham State Park. So one of the reasons that we prefer longleaf over loblolly pines is because longleaf pines grow a beautiful crown at the top, which allows for a lot of sunlight to hit the ground. And gopher tortoises are cold-blooded, so they really do enjoy that extra bit of sunlight that we have to offer here. So one more thing about that is uh, it's a lot easier to burn at a younger age, and we can put them on longer rotations, which is really, really good for our tortoises here on park. Well, guys, thanks for joining me today. If you want to learn more, visit us at georgiastateparks.org.